Um, so today, I uh, just got out of the locker room and really just visited with the players about the all together and playing complimentary football. And that's been the focus for the last couple weeks, uh, being able to do um, that. You know, complimentary football is a big thing, and that's really just working off each other, right? So you saw that a lot today. Um, you know, at the end of the half, you saw it. Takeaways, scoring on those. Uh, we had three takeaways today uh, to zero, which is, is a good number. We scored 16 points off of that. Um, I thought the kicking game, kicking game did a nice job of scoring points when they had to and setting field position. You know, the, it was windy out there today, so, you know, the punt game for sure, punting the one way was, was an issue. You know, kicking towards our tunnel was better. You know, so there's a lot of things that our cover teams did a nice job of as well. Um, but uh, I was pleased with the offense, the way they operated. You know, for the offensive side, we really talked about being clean uh, in terms of the penalties uh, early in the game like we had last week. So the guys were operationally were better there. Um, I know it didn't start out exactly the way they wanted it, um, but uh, but they did did well. Quarterback was clean, uh, took uh, one sack, had a quarterback rating of 126. Um, and that's good quarterbacking. It just is. It's, it's finding the completions, uh, taking the shots down the field. Um, you know, we wanted to get our, our receivers, you know, involved. Um, t- uh, t- uh, today, and we did that. Um, you know, Cole's been involved. You know, we've got uh, G involved. we got everybody involved in the passing game. So I think that's really good to be able to distribute that, play point guard, and be able to do that. Hard to defend that way. Um, you know, so defensively, you know, the guys that had the sacks, you know, the four-to-one sack ratio uh, uh, against our opponent today was obviously big uh, for us. That's a big thing for us, and uh, I thought that was really good. And some of those, you know, we caused some takeaways, you know, in, the, in, those, in those critical moments, and guys have done a good job with that. Uh, I was really proud of the guys that recovered those fumbles, you know, because to get a recovered fumble, you have to be hustling the way we do it. Um, it just doesn't show up, you know, because we ins- expect everybody to punch at the ball, and then when the ball comes out, that person's hustling because he anticipated that ball was going to be there. And it doesn't happen, but only a couple times a game. So you have to be going, and I'm, I'm proud of the guys that way. So uh, a couple other things, you know, I thought the offense did a good job of using the roster, you know, different guys in different spots. Uh, I think that's really, uh, really good, really creative by Shane. We, uh, you know, we're up-tempo at times, really creative um, by Shane. Not necessarily snapping it fast, but being on the ball, ID in the defense, um, you know, they obviously had some injuries over there um, at the linebacker position, so it's very hard to communicate when you have young people over there, new new people in there communicating. So I thought that was good tactically um, by Shane. It was really good. Um, you know, in terms of injuries, 76 is, was ruled out. We'll see where he is. It's an ankle. I don't know that yet. Um, you know, Bill Murray stepped in, did a really nice job stepping in there from what I saw. Again, I got to look at the tape, but it looked like he was physical. He was sound in there. Uh, in terms of fundamentals, uh, Matt had to go to the other side, which he did a good job with that. He had to do that last week as well. Uh, and then the ejection, you know, Matt Pryor got ejected, um, and he knows he can't do that. You know, obviously we got to keep our, our water temperature uh, to a lukewarm to hot but not boiling. And uh, sometimes that happens in that game. It's a, it's a physical game, and sometimes that dial starts to get turned up, and you got to be able to have self-control and turn it down. And that's all it is. It's not, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, but he knows that he's got to be better in that in that particular moment. Uh, with that, I'll take questions. You guys talked last week about how you didn't want to take negative plays, and Caleb goes out and goes 15 for 15 for you know in short range. You talked this week about you know taking advantage deep when you can. He goes out and, and has two deep touchdown passes. Now, what's it say about his ability week by week to kind of answer the call that you guys are very clear about, both with him and to us about what he needs to. Improve? Yeah, he he knows that this is his first year, um, you know, doing this, and he's gonna he's gonna face a lot of different things, different looks, different defenses, different coverages, um, you know, knowing his guys, um, know what know what he can do and can't do, but still keep everything in there where he's good quarterbacking, and he's just learning and growing, and you can see that, you know, during the course of these games that we've had. You know, and he needs to continue to grow. He knows that, so he's just got to level up, keep leveling up, and every time we've challenged him, uh, he's done that ever since the summer. You know, learning the offense, you know, coming back better, you know, all the way through training camp, and now the season, just getting better and better every single week, and uh, and really, that's just continuity, time on task, good communication with the offensive coaches, with everybody, and uh, again. I told the guys, there's, there's just because of the score was the score today. There's a lot of things to learn from that tape. You know, the performance is the performance. The performance is over. Now, 
what can we take from that to get better? Let's partner up uh, with your leaders in your unit, okay, and also your coaches uh, to make sure that we're getting better on the things we need to get better at. And that's um, any case, win, lose, or draw. What did the first touchdown do for the sideline? You know, you guys hadn't scored a lot in the first quarter. You were down quick. <laughs> what did that do just emotionally? Yeah, I think it was exciting. Our guys are pulling for each other. We got a tight group. You know, they, they are tight. Um, they're always there for each other, you know, in times of adversity, in times of success, and then turning the page to the next play. And uh, that's what they do. Um, so they did that today. Matt, what's your sense of the significance for DJ of capitalizing on a couple of those big opportunities to put in the end zone? Yeah, it's great. It's great. You know, and we've seen him in practice, you know, so, you know, I always tell guys, you'll see it on the practice field before you see it in the game. And we've seen those. And they've made some good connections over the last couple of weeks, and we were just waiting for it. And uh, got the coverage we wanted and worked out. I don't think we've asked you, what was behind the decision to have three practices in London as opposed to their teams who go in later sure. and you know, practice at home? Why do you want to do it? Yeah, just to get over there and get our, our clocks right. You know, that's a big the science part of it. You know, I went to Italy this summer, this summer and uh, I'll tell you, it's a little, it takes you a couple of days to get there. So I'm all in for that. And, uh, but yeah, that's all it was. This is the science of it. We're going to go there Wednesday. Uh, I mean, we'll go there Monday, get there Tuesday morning. Uh, the players have their day off that day, which, that's, which is normal. Then they'll bring them back in on Wednesday, and we'll have a, a, a walkthrough practice to get their bodies ready to go. And then from there will be normal uh, business operation there. Thursday will be our normal first, second, and third. Friday will be our red zone day. Saturday will be the walkthrough. And then Sunday we'll play the game. On Swift's touchdown, he's not... Uh, often your goal line back is that more to reward him on the 42 yard or right after the 42 yard catch? Yeah, we just you know you have uh, certain players for certain things, and we like him on that particular one. So um, it just comes down to the skill sets uh, that we like for that particular uh, operation or that particular play. What's that? On the yeah, they said it was clipping. I mean, that's what they said. I mean, I, I got I got to take a look at it. I don't I don't know uh, that much about it right now. I, I haven't seen that in quite some time. I haven't, I haven't I had players ejected like that, you know. I don't think so. You can look it up, Pat, but I don't think I have, so. Matt, well, what was the reasoning for going for the two-point community? Yeah, that was the, the chart, you know, it was that. That was it. Um, I thought it was – I liked the idea better from the one, you know, if they would have moved it up there, but would they offset and put it back at the two? But uh, that's what it was. Well, it, you know, it comes down to, it's all about us. You know, when you really think about it, it's all about us, you know, and I was proud of the guys, the way they focused in uh, to get better going all the way back to Monday. You know, what can we improve on? What, what can we get better at? You know, and how do we win this game, this particular game? So the starting fast was a big part of it. And uh, we, we hit that right, right away with the guys and that's execution. You know, you can't put yourself behind the sticks like we did last week, having a first and 15 and second and longs and all that stuff. And we did a little bit of that in the second half. You know, they started out a little bit like that. You know, there's some penalties, got us behind the sticks. Um, and it's hard to operate that way as an offense when you get those holding penalties and put you back. So, uh, but for the most part, it was good. That was a good operation today. Coach, you've been better every week. Uh, I know that's exactly what a coach has said would like to see. How satisfied have you been with the way the team is building and getting stronger? Yeah, I said it in, in training camp. I trust these guys. Man, the leadership is strong. That's why I got eight captains. I never thought I would ever do that. But, uh, man, those guys are strong. And there's a lot of other strong leaders, you know, in each unit and the special team. So um, they've been building their relationship, you know, building it tight so we know we're going to go through adversity during the season. Uh, but I'm happy for the guys, the way they've operated here. And, again, every week's a challenge. And so we're going to enjoy this for 24 hours, and then we're going to get to the next one. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Aaron.